Hey, what's going on guys? Nick Unsworth from lifeonfire.com and I just want to give you a huge welcome to the Life on Fire Virtual Summit. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple quick updates and then I'm going to bring on John Lee Dumas who's going to absolutely crush this here today about podcasting, how to create, monetize, and grow your podcast. So, uh, so real quick, the Life on Fire Virtual Summit, we're featuring 25 of the world's most amazing inspirational entrepreneurs and the whole purpose of this summit is to help you set your business and your life on fire and so what we're gonna do is we're going to be dribbling out these sessions literally over the months to come and so now that you're opted into this you're gonna be able to get these sessions over time so that it's not overwhelming to have all this content coming to you so what I want you to do is I want you to first and foremost just hop off of uh, your phone, maybe put that puppy on silent. Um, and I would also love and encourage you guys to click the button right below. There's a couple of little buttons there, social sharing buttons, and click the Facebook like button. Send out a tweet, and we'd be so grateful for you to share this live event with your friends and other people around. So if you click that button right now, write a couple nice words about about how excited you are to learn this content about podcasting and why you think it's going to change your business and your life, and share this puppy up. And so. After you do that, I would just encourage you to then hop off of the social networks and really just focus in here today. Focus on what you're learning. You know, mute out some other noise just at home and just really just pay close attention because what John's going to share with you here today has completely shifted and changed our business and I've watched it shift and change the business of our clients, the businesses of other folks from the uh, uh, podcasters paradise and it's just amazing what's been happening uh, as far as podcasting goes and we're so excited about all the cool things to come and I want to share with you just a little bit about what my life has been like post meeting John Lee Dumas so before meeting John I actually had no I, I knew what a podcast was but I had never actually listened to one and I actually met John right out here in San Diego and Michael O'Neill and I first then became aware of what podcasting is and I am totally aware that some of you guys this may be your first introduction to what a podcast is and why the timing is amazing right now and after meeting John he inspired me to start a podcast and you know I looked at his earnings and looked at the lifestyle he was living how happy he is and he had it all and I was thinking I'm gonna add this to our business so I created Life on Fire TV and I did what every smart entrepreneur does I invested in myself and I invested you know time with John and basically he gave me the playbook he gave me the strategy in the playbook on exactly how to launch a podcast on iTunes how to get on the top of the charts the top of new and noteworthy get free traffic from iTunes that builds up your audience and it was so awesome that when we did the launch the right way with John's mentorship we get to the number one position we were number one on all of iTunes in the business category for video and that alone gave us brain positioning. I now found myself on the stage with John at multiple events, um, you know, podcast movement, uh, the NMX Expo, and all kinds of really awesome um, stages and events, and podcasting for us has done a couple things. Number one, it's changed our brand positioning, and it makes it easier to get an interview with someone. Before, if I wanted to interview someone and I asked the question, it was always like, meh, not really all that interested. But then it was like, hey, I'd love to have you on my show. And that was a different conversation because I have a podcast. And since then, our brand has grown, our brand positioning and authority has grown, and we've actually been able to monetize. And so I want you to, to think about this. What would your life look like and be like if you had an extra $117,000 of annual revenue that came in from a podcast? Now, of course, John's going to share his story and how he makes hundreds of thousands per month from his podcast. In our case, we got rolling less than a year ago, and in between month four and five is when things started to really break through for us. And we had clients sign up on our website for our elite coaching programs, $36,000 per year, because they were able to hear my voice. They were able to see me on the video podcast, and they made those buying decisions without us having to sell, without us having to pick up the phone and convince them to join our coaching program. We attracted that. So if you want to attract customers to your business, if you want to take your your 
purpose, your passion, your message, and create your movement, podcasting is the way to go. And John's going to break all this down for you. So what I'd like to do now is bring John Lee Dumas on the line here today. He is not only a groomsman in my wedding, one of the top podcasters in all of iTunes, uh, but a guy with a huge heart, and he's going to break down content here today. So I want you to focus in on every word that comes out of his mouth and really just dive in here today. And so without further ado, my main man, John Lee Dumas. Boom! Bringing me on, bringing me in. What's happening? What up? Yo, loving it, guys. I am excited to uh, be delivering some incredible content to you today. It's tough to match this guy's energy. He set the bar high, but I'll do what I can to uh, keep the fire burning. Right? That's it. That's it. Well, I'm going <laughs> to head downstairs to my machine, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And, guys, it's pretty cool that that's exactly what Nick's doing. You can watch him behind me walking out the door. He's going to go down two flights of stairs, hang a right, and he's going to be in his studio for podcasting, which is where he produces Life on Fire. And it was pretty amazing that here we are in San Diego in the exact same building, both producing a podcast that is literally heard around the world. And that's just the exciting thing in the world that we live in today. And it just didn't exist even five years ago, let alone 10, 15, 20 years ago. And for those people that are stepping up and taking advantage, I'm just thrilled to be welcoming them on board because – this is a mentality of abundance. This is a lifestyle of abundance. And there is room for everybody in every niche. And I can't wait to share with you today specifically how you can take that leap. And we can have a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to the keynote presentation I prepared for you guys, a little podcast workshop specifically. And we're going to dive in because I really want to value your time as entrepreneurs, your time for being here with me today. I'm grateful and thankful that, again, you're here live attendees. Myself, this is a live podcast workshop. Nick and I are both in the exact same space-time continuum as you are right now. It's 5.06 p.m. Pacific, 8.06 p.m. if you're on the East Coast or wherever else you are in the world, welcome. We have some incredible value for you today. Nick's going to be jumping back in throughout the uh, podcast workshop as well, adding some incredible bits of wisdom, but what I want to do right now is dive on in. So first and foremost, for everybody that is here live, thank you, and this is a gift from me to you, from the Entrepreneur on Fire team to you. Just go head on over to eofire.com slash gift. Write that down somewhere. That'll be available for you. There's no rush on it. It doesn't expire, but just know that that's a thank you gift from me to you for being here live. It's my book, Podcast Launch which is the top ranked book in all of Amazon on podcasting. So you know you're going to get some great content in there as well as 15 video tutorials and much, much more. And we don't need to talk about that, but I do want to say if you are on the, you are watching this YouTube video right now, make sure that you are live so you are in the same space-time continuum. And if you have that little red circle live button, then you know that you are here. If you don't see it, just click that live the word live and that will bring you live right away. And again, we do have some sharing of the love buttons. They're not exactly to the left of the video, but I think they're below in this case. So go ahead, share that love like Nick said. We have some cool things coming up. Great karma to those that are sharing. And this is what today's workshop is going to be all about. What is a podcast? I'm going to do a deep dive into that for you. We're going to talk about how to create a podcast how to grow your podcast audience, critical, how to monetize your podcast, how to turn what you're doing, your voice, your passion, your brand into a viable business. We're going to go over some legit podcast training and I'm going to share with you two super hacks that every podcaster needs to be doing right now, but shockingly none are. If you currently have a podcast, you do not want to miss it. If you do not yet have a podcast and are about to launch yours with the help of this workshop and other things we're going to be offering you today, then exciting times because you'll be starting the right way from day one. We're also going to be giving you a sneak peek, pulling back the curtains of Podcasters Paradise, which is the number one podcasting community in the world for those looking to create, grow, and monetize their podcast. And without any further ado, let's get started, my friends give you a little quick background about my journey. Just a country boy from Maine, New England, same little area as Nick's from, which is Connecticut. But there I was at four years old, 
just tromping around the leaves, happy as can be with a smile on my face. You can see that to the far right, that actually smile carried me through to the age of 23 when I was an officer in the U.S. Army for eight years, four active, four in the reserves. That picture specifically is before a night mission in Fallujah. So I'm about to go in an incredibly dangerous night mission with four tanks and 16 men as a platoon leader. But you know what? I always looked at the bright side of things. I always wanted to keep that positive outlook and that smile was there. And as you can see, a recent picture, just a couple, uh, that might have been, been a year and a half ago, still smiling. And that's kind of always been my personality. But I got to be honest with you, there was a period of my life that it wasn't always that way. And in fact, after I left the Army, I went through some previous careers that uh, didn't make me that happy of a person and, and actually kind of depleted that optimism that I had. I went to law school. I hated it. I quit. Tried corporate finance for a couple of years in Boston with John Hancock. I quit. Commercial, residential real estate, both out in San Diego and back in Maine, was just swinging the back guys, and it wasn't me. I just wasn't finding my rhythm. I wasn't finding my passion, and that's exactly what it was. I wasn't, I wasn't finding my passion. I had no fire, and that was translating into literally no success. I wasn't having success in these careers because I wasn't able to to really be myself. I wasn't able to put my best foot forward. I wasn't able to invest myself fully into these ventures, and it showed. Where did that John go? Where did that happy-go-lucky boy go that was even, even in the dark days of Iraq? Where did he go? Well, the problem was, <laughs> like many people, he was stuck in traffic, and this was my commute every single day to work. I'd get stuck in traffic. I'd be miserable. I'd be stuck in traffic going to a place I didn't even want to go. I mean, what's worse than that? And this was just in June of 2012, guys. It wasn't like it was 10 years ago. This was two years and a little more ago. That's it. That's me stuck in traffic. And luckily, I had podcasts. I could listen to podcasts while I was on the road. I could get stuck in traffic and still be inspired by free, on-demand, targeted content. But then... When my commutes got longer and my podcast list kept growing as well, I just continued to run into the exact same problem. I was running out of podcasts. No matter how many I subscribed to, these weekly podcasts just were not doing it for me. I had to ask myself the question day in and day out, why is nobody doing a daily show? Where's that daily podcast of somebody that's, that's interviewing and inspiring a successful entrepreneur? And I just didn't get why it didn't happen. But that was my aha moment. Sometimes in those moments, that's where the light bulb goes on, and that's what it was for me. And I had the idea for Entrepreneur on Fire, which I launched in September of 2012, was the first and still only seven-day-a-week podcast that interviews today's most inspiring and successful entrepreneurs. Now we're over 735 episodes as of today. I need to just completely be transparent here. I've never, never shared anything but this. I had no online presence when I started. In June of 2012, the internet had been around for quite a long time. Did I have a Twitter account? Did I have a Facebook fan page? No, I had nothing. I had zero online presence. I also had zero broadcasting experience. I had never been behind the microphone before. I had never interviewed anybody. I was literally at a zero for experience. I knew nothing about Skype, microphones, iTunes. I was clueless. But I went from clueless to launch. And the question there has to be, what did I do from just June of 2012, being in a suit, miserable, stuck in traffic, going to work, clueless about anything podcasting, except how to press a play button, to having launched a seven-day-a-week podcast just a couple months later? Well, like you now, like everybody here just listening and attending this live workshop, I went searching. I went searching for answers. And I invested in myself when I started to find those answers. And for me, that was a mentor. That was Jamie Tardy, who was a successful podcast host of The Eventual Millionaire. And it was joining a mastermind, Cliff Ravenscraft's podcast mastermind itself, which is no longer going, but at the time was an absolute godsend. Neither one of these were cheap. It was thousands of dollars a month to invest in myself with Jamie Tardy every single month. It was $300 a month to be part of the podcast mastermind, but I knew I needed to invest in myself to make this journey. And 22 months later, 
Entrepreneur on Fire won Best of iTunes 2013. We had generated over, we have generated now actually as of today, we just crossed another magic number, 9 million downloads as of launch. We built an incredibly large audience, which I lovingly refer to as Fire Nation, and we consistently generate over $200,000 every single month. And this all came from a podcast, my friends. Everything came from a podcast. And what was the difference? Like, what had changed from my time in the, um, not the Army, but specifically law school, and then corporate finance, and then commercial and residential real estate? Well, for the first time in a really long time, I had passion. I had fire. I woke up in the morning excited to learn that next thing, excited to interview somebody, excited to connect, excited to just be living a life on my own terms, or as Nick would say, a life on fire. I was back, and it had been a long time, but I was back behind the microphone and on fire. So we're going to get into the first real segment of this workshop. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about creating your podcast. I'm going to first break down what is a podcast. And in layman's terms, it's a digital audio file on the internet for downloading or streaming. So any of these devices that you see on the screen right here, it could be a tablet, a Galaxy, a Samsung Note 3, anything that has connection to the internet that has speakers or a headphone jack can play a podcast and it is slowly taking over the world and actually a little faster than slowly nowadays. So a lot of questions I get, I uh, get a ton of questions and a lot of them do really focus around this next thing we're going to talk about. John, what do I podcast about? John, what should my topic be? And these are all important questions and I'm going to be taking you through an exercise first that is so simple yet so critically valuable to anybody that's willing to do this. I've had over 40 mentees do this exercise, my one-on-one -on -one mentees, all of whom have had great success from it. In the over 1,300 current Podcast Paradise members, hundreds and hundreds of them have gone through this incredibly simple exercise and have seen stellar results due to its simplicity. So you're going to take out a piece of paper you're going to draw a line down the middle. On the left-hand side, you're going to be writing down everything that you are passionate about. What stokes your flame? What were you passionate about as a kid? If it was jumping in semi-dry, semi-wet uh, leaves in Maine in the fall, write that down. Write down what you want to do this weekend. Write down what you would do tomorrow if you could do anything in the world that you want to. Write down things that fire you up. What books do you like to read? What topics do you like to study? Write them down. And then on the right-hand side, write down things that you're good at. Write down skills that you have. Write down things that other people say you're good at. Ask your friends. Ask your family, what am I better than average at? What am I kind of good at? Write those things down incredibly, incredibly valuable, important exercise. And guys, it's not going to just snap and hit you the first time. And it's not going to snap and hit you the second time. This exercise needs to be done three, four, five days in a row. And once you start doing these things, you're going to be shocked at the type of things you're writing down for your passion, for your expertise. And then you're going to be shocked as you start to see the intersection and the overlap of these two coming together. Then you're going to find your zone of genius. And that zone of genius, it's going to hit you during this exercise. Or maybe it's going to hit you an hour later when you're walking along the beach. Or maybe it's going to hit you the next morning in the shower. But believe me, that zone of genius is going to hit you. And you're going to say, you know what? This is where my passion and my skills and my knowledge overlap. This is my zone of genius. This is what I want to podcast about. This is the brand, the message, the voice that I want to bring to the world. This happens every single day to me. I'm telling you, I get emails from people doing this exercise, having so much success, and then saying, John, I got my zone of genius. I know what it is, but then I Googled it, and ho-hum, somebody's already doing it. Sad face. I'm so sad. And you know what? That's the exact wrong attitude to have. A 180 degree about face soldier is what I say to that because you know what? Of course somebody else is doing it because it's a viable business. That is your proof of concept. You should be jumping up and down right now because that is proving to you 
that this is something that you can turn into a viable business, that this is something that people are willing to actually support in the, in the form of monetary reimbursement. I mean, guys, now all you need to do are these three things. Do it differently. Add your USP, that unique selling proposition. Add your personality. Now let's talk about the first one. Do it differently. Here's a real example. I was not the first person to interview entrepreneurs. There have been plenty before me, but what did I do differently? Seven days a week. How did I add my USP? I had that consistent format, the flow of Entrepreneur on Fire, where I ask of failure, lessons learned, an aha moment, the steps they took to turn that moment into success. And then this last point, add your personality. I can't help but add my personality, and neither can you. This next slide is, in my opinion, the most important slide of this entire presentation, besides a couple we have in the end. <laughs> Define your avatar. And let me tell you this straight up, 99% of podcasters get this wrong, and I was in this camp for way too long. And I wish, wish, wish I had somebody tell me this before I started, but I'm telling you now. So if you have a podcast, pay attention. If you don't have a podcast, pay attention. This is absolutely critical. And your avatar is that one perfect listener, that one person that you are creating your podcast for. Now, people are terrified to do this because they think that if they just create it for one person, they're cutting out the rest of the world. But remember these words. If you try to resonate with everyone, you will resonate with no one. So you're one perfect listener. Mine is Jimmy. I'm going to give you a breakdown right now of exactly what an avatar sounds like. Jimmy's 34 years old. He has two kids ages three and five. He has a wife and he drives the kid, he drives to uh, work every single day by himself. His drive to work takes him 27 minutes. He gets to work, sits in a cubicle at a job he doesn't like for nine hours. After those nine hours, he jumps in his car and drives home. It takes him 32 minutes to get home, a little bit of traffic. After he gets home, he plays with his kids. He has dinner with his family, puts his kids to bed, hangs out with his wife, and then he sits on a couch. And on that couch, Jimmy says to himself, why? Why do I spend 80% of my waking hours doing things that I don't enjoy doing? Commuting to work, sitting in a cubicle, commuting home. Why do I only spend 10% of my life doing what I love, spending time with my family? And then why do I waste the other 10% of my waking hours on this couch? What am I doing? Jimmy is my avatar. Jimmy needs to be listening to Entrepreneur on Fire Every single day as he's driving to work, he needs to be hearing about my guests sharing their failures and their lessons learned from that. He needs to be driving home, that 32-minute commute coming home, stuck in traffic, listening to my guest's aha moment and the steps that they took to turn that moment into success. Jimmy needs to be sitting on the couch by himself at night listening to my lightning round with the resources and the books that he needs to use to fill his mind with the right content to get him on his path. Jimmy is my avatar. He's my one perfect listener. Because look at this image, my friends. This is an incredibly divergent road. And there are 1,000 forks in every entrepreneur's journey, in every small business owner's journey. And if you don't know your avatar, you will spend so much time, energy, effort, and money at every single one of these forks that you won't even know what to do with yourself. And the problem is when you finally get the answer, It'll be the wrong answer because this isn't even a question that you should be answering. If you know your avatar like I know my avatar, I get to these forks in the road and there are thousands for me too. And I just say WWJD, what would Jimmy do? And I know my answer and I can go left, right, left, left, right and make things happen. Frequently asked questions that I get all the time that could so easily be solved. John, what should I podcast about? How long should my podcast be? Should it be interview or topic based? What should the frequency be? How many times per week? What category should I be in? And my answer is, what would your avatar want? Who is your avatar? Ask your avatar these questions because that is who needs to answer it, not me. It's the one perfect listener that you're creating your podcast for needs to answer every single one of these questions. Let's break down some barriers, guys, because people have this assumption that podcasting is this 
needs to be done in a newsroom with microphones hanging from the ceiling and all this craziness and it's just not true. I'm doing this right now from my living room. I've done 16 interviews in the last two days because I'm about to go on a vacation to Maine so I did a little double time. In the last two days I've done 16 interviews in my living room. Nick Unsworth does his interviews in his living room. It is so possible to do a podcast anywhere with the following equipment. A computer, microphone, and recording software. Let's talk microphones. My number three recommendation is the Logitech ClearChat. This is the microphone I recommend every single one of my guests purchase at a minimum before they come on Entrepreneur on Fire. This will bring you from a two audio quality, which is just talking at your computer, to a seven, and it's $26 on Amazon. My number two recommendation is the ATR2100. It's the medium cost. It's $60 on Amazon again. It's a dynamic microphone, and this will take you to a absolute 8.5. So you've gone from a two to an 8.5 with just $60. And this is the microphone that Kate uses for her great podcast called Kate's Take, which I highly recommend, by the way, to check that out. So what's the high cost? The high cost is the old Heil PR40. This is what I use. This is what Nick uses. It's not cheap. It's pricey. It's $300. It'll take your 8.5 ACR 2100 up to a 9.8. But let me tell you something. If I was starting all over again, I would get the ATR2100. This microphone right here is all you need to produce an absolute stellar audio quality podcast. You can save your money for down the road when you just have more than enough it gets to, to drop 300, not necessary. Go with the ATR2100. So for recording and editing software, the Cadillac is Adobe Audition. This is what I use. I'm in there every single day to both record and edit my mp3s, my podcast. I love Adobe Audition. I have over 30 video tutorials within Podcasters Paradise about Adobe Audition. That's how much I love it. And guys, let me just break in here and say, this is a live webinar. So if you're having questions, like let's get those questions asked. I will be answering any questions that get submitted. It is 5.27 p.m. on September 9th. So let's just go ahead and get these questions answered. That's what I'm here for. It's a live webinar. This is not recorded. 5.27 p.m. Pacific, 8.27 p.m. Eastern. Let's make this happen. Guys, the number two recommendation for recording and editing software is Audacity. This works for both Mac and PCs. It's a great option. The number three recommendation is GarageBand. This comes pre-installed on your Mac. It is fine. I know people that use it, and it's definitely a viable option to both record and edit your software. And if you're going to record podcasting interviews, if you're going to call somebody and you want to record that over Skype, use one of the following two options. And this is for both video and audio only interviews. They record both. Ecamm call recorders for Mac, Pamela's for PC, they're about $35, so one time price of $32, uh, $35, very reasonable and very simple and effective. So is tech still holding you back? Even though I've already shown you the fact that you just need a couple pieces of equipment, like do you still think that your studio needs to look something like this? This is 1970s retro, guys. This is the 2014 studio. This is the Entrepreneur on Fire studio. This is all I have, and this is all I use to podcast. This right here is the desk, is the microphone, is the computer, that releases a podcast that gets downloaded over 800,000 times every single month in over 145 countries around the world. This is all you need. And I'm going to continue right now to break down some barriers with our first training tutorial. I'm going to walk you through the eight-step process of how to record a podcast, how to add an intro and outro, how to export that MP3, how to tag that MP3, upload it to Libsyn, schedule it out correctly, publish it, submitting it to iTunes, and guys, I'm going to do this all in under three minutes. Now, I know it's going to be fast. It's going to be furious. We break down every single step in an incredibly detailed manner within Podcasters Paradise, but just because we're going through this as a sample, I want to show you that once you get just okay, once you understand a few things about podcasting, you will have zero barriers to break down because it is so simple. And here we are within Adobe Audition. 
I'm going to hit the play button right now, and we're going to dive into the under three minute tutorial. So here we go. I'm going to click on multi track. I'm going to enter podcast workshop. I'm going to click the OK button here. And then once I click that, I'm going to hit the record button and say prepare to ignite. I'm going to stop that. And now it's time to drag in the actual intros and outros that I talked about. So click the open button, intro, outro, open. Let's move that podcast episode out of the way. Bring in the intro right now. That intro is going to go right at the beginning. And then bring up the actual podcast episode. Let's drag over the outro, the ending of the podcast. And then I'm going to export this as an MP3, just like saving a Word doc. So I'm going to export this MP3, saving it. Going to open up this called ID3 Editor so I can tag this podcast. And, sorry, the MP3. Give it a title, artist, album, comments. Going to go into the podcast tab, click enable podcast, enter in the lyrics, a little woot, woot. We're going to go with a picture, the 1400 by 1400 Entrepreneur on Fire logo, which is right there. Open that up, update it. And now that's a tagged MP3. I'm going to launch Libsyn, which is my media host. I'm going to go to content, add new episode, so we can add the actual tagged MP3 to this media host Libsyn. Click on Add Media File and Upload from Hard Drive. I'm going to find that podcast workshop. And then I'm going to enter the title, which is the podcast workshop. And as you can see, that is, um, go that is actually going ahead and uploading in green above us. The description's woot woot. Let's select that and clear that formatting. Let's go down. And this section in the middle here, guys, is all under general settings within Libsyn. So you only do this once. And we had that tutorial for you within Paradise, so you always are going to disregard this part after you've set up the general settings once. Go to Schedule Release and actually click Basic Release and Expiration. Click Set a New Release Date, and in here you're going to actually choose that date. For me, it's going to be July of 2019, and we'll do 2 a.m. I actually don't want this published, which is why I chose the, night, uh, the year 2019. Click Publish, and once I've published, I want to go back now and check under Scheduled for Release the episode was correct. There it is, Podcast Workshop, July 19, 2019, link in bed, edits, all that other stuff. Click on Destinations, grab the Libsyn Classic feed, which is the RSS feed, copy that, and actually click on Submit a Podcast within iTunes. Once that pops up, you're going to Podcast Feed URL, Paste. Click that Continue button, and you are done. It's literally, those are the eight steps. You just record it, add in an intro and outro, export it, tag the MP3, uploaded it to your media host, Libsyn, scheduled it out, published it, and submitted to iTunes all in under three minutes. Incredible stuff, guys. So now, listen, you follow these tutorials. You have now launched your podcast. Let's go over some growth tactics so you can grow your listenership, grow your podcast audience. Number one for the growth tactics is leveraging the podcast directories. The big three are SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher Radio. Now I'll tell you what's amazing is that these directories have hundreds and hundreds of millions of people every single day going to their sites searching for content. And these sites will proudly display your content if only you'll let them. We're going to hone in on iTunes right now because iTunes is the elephant in the room. 525 million active users within iTunes, meaning that in the last month, over 525 million people have been in the iTunes store. 45 million of them are searching iTunes every single month. There's incredible opportunities to rank for keywords. For instance, I want to rank for the keyword entrepreneur. Well, I tested, I did a lot of different um, trial and error things, and I have found an incredible iTunes SEO method that allows me to rank number two in all of iTunes for the word entrepreneur. What do you want to rank for? Coach, sports, gymnastics, fashion, fishing, whatever it might be, your iTunes SEO is out there waiting for you and nobody is taking advantage of it, and this is driving incredible organic traffic to me every single day. 315 million people, by the way, 
access iTunes on their iPhone. This is just pure insanity knowing that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you are within arm's reach of over 315 million people, guys. This is insanity, and this is why things are getting out of control in a good way in the podcasting world. And on, on top of that, Apple just announced Apple CarPlay, meaning that this is going to be the dashboard in every single car coming off the lot in 2015 and beyond. In fact, it's already in three different manufactured cars right now. People are going to turn their car on. The first thing they're going to see when it pops up is iTunes and that word podcasts. And that is going to break down the last barrier there is for people that are in their car at an incredible number every single day looking for content, sick of the radio, sick of commercials, looking for content that inspires them. Your voice, your message, your brand needs to be there. So number two, maximize new and noteworthy. And let me break this down real quick for people that might not know what new and noteworthy is. New and no noteworthy are the eight glorious weeks that you have to be featured as a podcast in iTunes' best podcasting advertising space literally in the world. There is no close second. For the first 56 days, those glorious eight weeks, if you launch your podcast right and, you've, and you follow the correct launch strategy, you will be a featured podcast in iTunes New and Noteworthy. There is absolutely no doubt about it, and I'm about to show you exactly what I mean by that. But it's an opportunity that so few people understand and take advantage of. And if you do, when people log into iTunes, into whatever category it is, you will be there. Your logo will be right there. And that organic traffic will be massive. It's how I built my initial audience back when I launched with absolutely nothing, with no experience, with no broadcasting experience. Here's a recent podcast I just launched, uh, I just launched a few weeks ago quotes on fire it's a seven day a week podcast where I share an inspiring quote and a killer resource that was ta that was pegged as the number one podcast in all of iTunes for over 10 days driving me unbelievable organic traffic so that perfect launch plan is so critical and within paradise we walk you through step by step by step what that perfect launch plan is so you can maximize. And let me break some of them down for you. Make your launch an event. You need to build up absolute excitement around your podcast launch. You need to have episode 000. What does that mean? It's your about me page for your podcast. Nobody does this, but you got to remember when your episode 12 comes out and someone listens to it for the first time, they're like, whoa. This sounds pretty cool. I wonder what this podcast is really all about. I wonder what this host is really all about. You need to have an episode 000 that people can go back to and that they can listen. And then they can say, wow, I now know what this podcast is about. I now feel closer to this, to this host because I feel like he got to share or she got to share some inside knowledge or her, or her story or his story with me. So your episode 000 is your about me page for your podcast. And it's so critical to have. You need to launch with three episodes. I'm not going to get into specifically why, but you can't, go, you can't go a ton more, and you definitely cannot go with only one because you need people to subscribe, rate, and share. And if you only launch one, people can't subscribe. There's nothing to subscribe to. There's just one podcast to listen to. But if you launch, you know, tr people try to counteract that and launch with 10 or 20, and that's just simply overwhelming. Three is the magic number. And speaking of three, tactic number three is leveraging the audience of your guests. I mean, look at these all-star entrepreneurs, Seth Godin, Tim Ferriss, Barbara Corkin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Chris Brogan. Within 90 days of me launching, I had had every single one of these people on my show. Why? Because like Nick said in the intro, I actually had a show. I had an opportunity to bring them on and to share with them um, or to, and to share with my audience their knowledge. When Seth Godin and Tim Ferriss launched a book last uh, December, they, uh, Seth Godin launched The Icarus Deception. Tim Ferriss launched Four Hour Chef. I brought them on my show and they were willing to do so and spend 25 minutes talking to me about their journey and then their book because I had a platform, I had a show, I had an audience. And their podcast episodes still get listened to today because podcasts are evergreen. And the rock stars in your industries know that too, so they know that it's worth their time. So you need to really focus and just 
create that platform, create that show, and realize that now you have value to add. And then once you do, leverage the audience of your guests. And how do you do that? Well, the very first email that I send out every single morning is to my guest whose interview just went live. And I say, your interview, Seth, just went live today, and you rocked the mic. I would be honored if you would share your journey with your audience. Here are all the links to do so. I make it super simple for them, and they make it happen. So every single day, my podcast now is being shared with a whole new audience. And that whole new audience is hearing about Entrepreneur on Fire for the first time. And a certain proportion about them are listening, are rating, are reviewing, are subscribing, are sharing, are becoming evangelists seven days a week. Number four is leveraging existing communities. And I can tell you, my friends, that people do not do this nearly enough, and it shocks me. Facebook and LinkedIn are absolute treasure troves of, that are just chock full of your avatars. And it's not, fine to, it's not hard to find your avatars because they're all grouped in one specific area. The Facebook groups, the LinkedIn groups, go and find those groups where your avatars are, where the interests, the fields, the industries, and go be a valuable member of those free, massive, engaged groups. Be of value. And then when the time is right and you share your knowledge and you become a valuable member and that question comes up, you can answer it with a great link to your podcast. Hey, we talked about this in my podcast just a couple days ago and your avatars will flock to it. And meetup.com is for people in person. This is where you need to go and Nick and I have done this before and gone speaking engagements from this. Going to meetup.com, seeing the entrepreneurial events that are in the area, going there and being of value, networking, building relationships. I mean, the most powerful bar none podcasting community out there is the Podcasters Paradise private Facebook group. I'm going to bring you guys in there in a little bit and show you exactly what I mean, but here's a quick example. Efton had a question about his logo. He wanted some feedback. Within 12 hours, he had over 36 Paradisers coming back, giving him feedback, criticism, suggestions, um, support, you name it. He was getting it, and this is the stuff that is absolutely priceless. And look what happens within Paradise when you get that perfect launch plan, when you have the support of the community. Every single red circle is a podcast paradise. Or why are we dominating new and noteworthy? Why do we have half of the shows in new and noteworthy of the hundreds of thousands of shows that are out there? Why are they podcast paradisers? Because we do something called Pay It Forward Friday, where every single Friday we give honest ratings and reviews, subscribes and shares of each other's podcasts. And when you have over 1,300 members, guys, that stuff adds up in a powerful way. Social media is so underutilized, and there are some amazing tactics that you can be using every single day to grow your podcast audience. We take this very seriously in Paradise. As you can see, every single social media platform, we go into multiple video tutorial detail and in-depth about them because we know how important that, that is. For instance, SoundCloud. You can actually embed a SoundCloud link into your, into your tweet or into your Facebook post so people can just sit there and, and hit the play button within that, not have to go anywhere else and listen to your voice. All right, now I'm going to show you two super hacks. These are super hacks that 99% of podcasters are not taking advantage of. And again, if you don't have a podcast, awesome, because you can do this from day one. If you do have a podcast, tune in because you are going to want to make some changes immediately in the phrases of subheadline in three categories. So here we are in the iTunes store. So make sure, guys, you're back with me. You're up at the video because I'm about to press the play button in three, two, one. So here we are. I'm going to uh, do a little loop around and let's choose Jim Cramer today. Let's go into Jim Cramer's show and he's on CNBC every day. But what are you missing, Jim? You're missing a sub headline. There's nothing there. Well, even though you're a big TV star, there's probably a reason why your podcast is ranked behind Entrepreneur on Fire because I'm actually using <laughs> the subheadline in a powerful way. Interviews Tim Ferriss, Seth Godin, Gary Vaynerchuk, Pat Flynn. Well, what does this mean, John? This is all about iTunes SEO and keywords. Now when people type in Tim Ferriss in that search bar and hit enter, I'm the number two result for Tim Ferriss. What happens when people type Seth Godin, which is a guy that's written so many books, he is searched for all the time within iTunes. 
Well, the number four result for Seth Godin, his two podcasts, and then I'm number four. Let's try Pat Flynn. And Pat's a good friend here in San Diego, so I give him a jokingly hard time and saying, Pat, what's the deal, man? Yeah, you are ranking number one for, for your podcast, for your name, but I'm number two. And your other podcast, it's even called Pat. It's number four, number five. That is the power. Go to, and so you have to go within Libsyn. You have to go to Destinations, the Libsyn Classic feed, and slide on down to the Author tab. This is where it all happens. This is where you enter the Author tag that will show up as your subheadline. And this is what iTunes crawls for their search results. That's how you can get into keywords. Now let's talk categories. You can see my three business education technology. What does this mean? Well, obviously you just saw me a top trained business podcast, but now in education, boom, I'm right there in what's hot. That's a main category. Let's go to technology. Under technology, what's going on in the what's hot section there? Because you know I'm already in business and iTunes and education, boom, entrepreneur on fire in the what's hot section. That's all because I found this place right here where I can rank for, I can actually show up in three categories. And for those people that are currently podcasting, they're like, wait, wait, John, I only was allowed to choose one category when I signed up for iTunes. Well, me too. So I chose business. But then I found this area <laughs> within Libsyn, and I'm like, can this really be right? And I entered in a category two and three, refreshed it. Sure enough, within a day, I had tripled the amount of categories that I was showing up in. And believe me, that has absolutely done massive things for my download numbers because people that would never go to the business category but that would go to education or technology are now finding my podcast and becoming listeners and subscribers that never would have been. That's a huge snowball effect. All right, number three, the segment that we're getting into, the third and final segment of this, creates, grow, monetize your podcast. Because the number one question that I get is, John, how the heck do you monetize to the tune of over $200,000 a month? And I'm going to break down my top five in July. We actually just released our August income report, so I'm going to be updating it pretty soon here to reflect the top five in August. And I can tell you they're pretty similar, and some of them have even grown significantly. So for July, our number five was affiliates. We did over $8,000 in affiliate income in the month of July alone. That's when I mentioned resources, products, and services on my podcast, like Lead Pages, Bluehost, Optin Monster, and I say, hey guys, jump on back to eofire.com slash resources, and you can check out you know, what I have there, what I recommend, what I use, and when people go through that and I get an affiliate commission, it adds up, my friends, as you can see, to almost five figures for the month alone. Number four is coaching. I'm actually phasing this part out of my business, but I still did have two mentees for the month of July, so I generated $5,000 for the month of July with one-on-one -on -one mentoring alone. And this is a huge opportunity for those people starting off. This is the way that I started monetizing, and you can too, because you're an authority figure as a podcaster. You are building instant credibility. You are having, get, you are having listeners that know, like, and trust you, and they're going to go to you for information, for education. You can provide it to them in the form of a mentor. Fire Nation Elite, this is a mastermind. This is our mastermind literally on fire. This generated over $13,000 in the month of July alone. This has been a recurring five-figure income for us every single month since we launched over 14 months ago. This is just me as a host saying, hey, I'm going to create a paid membership mastermind where serious Fire Nation, uh, Fire Nation listeners can raise their hands, be part of Fire Nation Elite, and be part of a community that supports, that encourages, and that drives each other forward. And again, guys, this generated over $13,000 just in one month, and it's been a five-figure earner for us month after month after month. You can see how we set ours up at firenationelite.com. We're actually closed down right now because we've closed the doors to keep it at what we consider the perfect number of members within. But if you want to see how you can potentially structure your tribe, just go to firenationelite.com. Sponsorships, and this is huge. This is a $45,000 paycheck that I have guaranteed every single month for the rest of 2014. Now, this, this is something that I know because I have 
sold out sponsorships for all of 2014. And that is insane to know that through December, every single one of my sponsorship slots has been sold out. And what does this mean exactly? This means that my sponsors like FreshBooks, LegalZoom, 99design, Squarespace, they are taking up the pre-rolls and the mid-rolls, 15 seconds and 60 seconds, where I actually get to talk about their product, their service, their offering to Fire Nation. If you listen to an episode, you've heard my sponsors because I've had them now for well over a year. And most of these sponsors you're seeing on this page have been with me for over a year because despite the fact that they are paying an incredible amount of money to sponsor each episode, they are seeing an even more incredible return. So again, guys, sponsorships is an incredible way to monetize within Paradise. We show you how to find sponsors. We give you the email templates to reach out to cold and warm sponsors. We share with you the contracts that we use to lock them down, how you can negotiate with sponsors. And again, we give you all of the templates and docs that you need. Number one, and this is the most exciting slide for monetization by far, is the products. This is something that every single podcaster should be looking to do from the day that they launch their podcast. Now, what is that action exactly? Well, it's developing an incredibly valuable podcast that has listeners that reach out to you and say, hey, Tim, hey, Chris, hey, Nick, love your podcast. Sarah, you know, Marie, amazing podcast. I love it. Thank you for the content. And then you immediately respond and say, Thank you for that. What are you struggling with? Ask them that question, the most powerful question you can ask your avatars. They will tell you what they're struggling with. You need to just listen. And when something becomes so consistent, such a consistent pain point, you then provide the solution for them in the form of a product. That is exactly how we create a podcaster's paradise and exactly how we create a webinar on fire. Create that product, that solution to their struggle. In Webinar on Fire, that was an amazing product that we just created from people saying, John, how are you doing so well every single week with Podcasters Paradise? You're doing these live podcast workshops and you're generating $25,000, $35,000, $45,000 on every single webinar. How are you creating and presenting a webinar that converts so gosh darn well? And I just say, listen, that's a great question. Why don't I provide the solution for you? And it's called Webinar on Fire. And just in the month of July alone, we did $17,000 in Webinar on Fire. And then, of course, there's our flagship product, Podcasters Paradise, which shows the over 1,300 members within, 1,300, how to create, grow, and monetize their podcast in the form of an amazing community. And just in July, $190,000. So in July total, we did $282,000. This is a breakdown of our past months. If you go to eofire.com slash income, you'll see the income reports that Kate works incredibly hard on month after month to make sure that we're bringing you our successes so you can emulate those. But just as importantly, we're bringing you our failures and our mistakes so you can avoid those potholes because they are out there. And now let's take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath because we are going to do something pretty cool, pretty special now. We are going to talk Podcasters Paradise. And Podcasters Paradise, guys, in a nutshell, is the number one podcasting community in the world with over 1,300 members. And it's broken down into three components. Component number one are the video tutorials, which we have over 200 video tutorials for beginners, taking you step one to step done through the entire podcasting process. For intermediates, showing you exactly the tools and tactics to grow your podcast audience. And then once you've grown to that point, you're an expert. Now you need to monetize and create multiple streams of income. Component number two, we have the community. We have a private forum on the Paradise site. We also have a private Facebook group only for Paradisers, and this is where all the magic happens, guys, where you can exchange honest iTunes and Stitcher radio reviews every single Friday, pay it for Fridays in action. You can find guests for your shows. You can find opportunities to be a guest on other people's shows. You can exchange the latest tips, tools, and tactics in the podcasting world. Receive feedback for your logo, your format, your overall feel, critical. Hone your interview skills by practicing with others. 
man, I wish I had this opportunity. I was honing my interview skills on Pat Flynn, on Michael Hyatt, and I am just cringing thinking about it. I wish I had a paradise to practice. You can find accountability partners in much, much more. And the third component, guys, is incredible. We do monthly webinars with today's top podcasters. Pat Flynn, Ramit Sethi, Lewis Howes, Amy Porterfield, Michael Hyatt. They are all alumni. We have James Altucher, your very own Nick, Alt uh, Nick Altucher, Nick Unsworth coming up in future monthly webinars. I do a personal exclusive monthly Q&A session every single month for Podcast Paradise alone. And without further ado, my friends, Let's dive on in. Here's the screen share right here of Podcasters Paradise. So come on up, join the fun, and let me be the first to welcome you to Paradise. And here we are on the homepage. We have the announcements, the most recently added videos. But let's dive into the meat and potatoes, guys. Create tab, how to create your podcast. Every single one of these is a separate video tutorial where we break down what you need to do to create your podcast, your equipment, your platform, setting up your social profiles. Guys, this is so much more than just podcasting. It is the full platform. How to record. Every single one of these is a separate video tutorial. You click on it, boom, it loads a separate video tutorial that you can just press the play button on at your leisure. Click that play button and you are rolling in your own personal tutorial. Every single one of these is a separate video tutorial for you on how interview tactics and checklist, the solo checklist, editing, Adobe Audition. As you can see, I love my Adobe Audition and I've given you some great tutorials. Audacity, GarageBand, the workflow, uploading a host, launch strategy. This is how you step by step launch your podcast. The launch story, success strategies, I mean success stories of fellow paradisers. Let's check out the grow tab. These are all the tutorials that you need to grow your podcast. You can actually get um, topics about using your intro and outro to grow your podcast, co-mingling audiences, your website with email opt-ins, newsletters, blog critiques, social media. Again, I told you every single social media platform is there waiting for you. We have networking, we have public relations, conferences you should be attending, amazing stuff on the grow guys. And then of course, don't forget monetize. We have <laughs> the sponsorships, everything you need with the infographic that we send to potential sponsors, the cold pitch, the warm pitch, the acceptance, products and services, webinars, the top eight ways to monetize your podcast. Let's go into the actual resources tab. I'll get the forum loading up there as well. Under resources, this is where all of your templates are, document samples, how-tos, work efficiently, plugins. Then you have your create guys, everything you need to know about creating your podcast resources wise. Grow, all your resources you need to know to grow your audience and then all the resources you need to monetize. It's all right here. Let's check out the forum right now. This is where you can get in here and talk with people about creating your podcast, have discussions about growing, about monetizing, support and frequently asked questions. It's all there for you. Then of course the webinars that we've done, they are all here in the archives for you to watch at your leisure. We have the Kristen Brown webinar, great stuff on PR. We have our full recap of podcast movements. What a blast we had. Tim Page front and center. A Q&A session with me that we do every single month. Ramit Sethi, we have Kate doing a, a nice little Q&A. We have Chris Ducker in the house. We have another Q&A with me, Lewis Howes. Here's a Michael Hyatt Q&A session back in Christmas time. <laughs> Amy Porterfield, Pat Flynn, the list goes on and we have live ones every single month for you to participate in. And the podcasters tab, guys, this is living proof of the absolute amazing action-taking content of Podcasters Paradise. We have the art tab, we have business. Look at all these podcasts. We have careers, beauty and fashion, comedy, education, fitness, nutrition, food, investing, kids and family, management, marketing, medicine, music, news and politics, places, travel, parenting, professional, self-help, Society, culture, spirituality, sports, training, TV, film. Guys, 
any single category you can imagine, Paradisers have you covered. Check out the guests that they've had to find out guests in your niche. Reach out to these podcast hosts. They're your family. Exchange interviews. Do actual interview swaps. Co-mingle your audiences. It's all right there. And then, of course, frequently asked questions. These are all the questions that Kate and I have been fielding for over 10 months in regards to podcasting. All the answers right here for you. People read this and say, John, I didn't even know I had these questions. This needs to be turned into a book. And I say, nope, it needs to stay the frequently asked questions tab for paradise. And last but not least, because it's actually the thing that makes Podcasters Paradise absolutely out of this world, it is our Podcasters Paradise private Facebook group. I just posted this this morning about some intel from iTunes that came in to me. And look, at I already have over 20 comments of people giving feedback about what's going on. We have Keith talking about his support for his new and noteworthy comments coming in. And look, he just posted this five hours ago. And there's Kate's take. There's his podcast. There's Justin, actually my brother-in-law, pretty random, his podcast, Commercial Real Estate, all right here. Look at Taylor just three hours ago. Look at all this feedback that he's getting within Podcasters Paradise, people that are engaged every single minute of every single day, 24-7. I don't know what that picture is of, but it looks pretty funny, and I think I'm going to like it right now on the podcast workshop. And guys, look how far I'm scrolling down here. People celebrating the fact they're in new and noteworthy. They're, they're thanking people. I mean, I've scrolled down how far, and I'm at six hours ago right now. This is paradise. This is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week community where you can ask questions, get answers, get feedback, and all in all, just be part of the number one podcasting community in the world. So now that you've seen Paradise, now that I've just pulled back the curtain and showed you everything, I want to let you know that you have the opportunity to join Paradise for a special promotion today. It's the Life on Fire Nick Unsworth promo. The promo code you're going to be using is all caps Paradise. That's Paradise all caps. But before we dive into exactly what that promo is going to get you, <laughs> let me share a couple of things with you. Three truths. Paradise, as you know it, is transitioning to an annual subscription plan. We're going to be doing it where people that join in the future are going to be having to renew on an annual basis if they want to remain part of Paradise. The Podcasters Paradise investments will be increasing in the future as we continue to add value and just add incredibleness to Paradise. We will always be raising the price to reflect the value within. And number three, Paradise will never be offered at a lower price than it is today. It will never be offered at a lower price than it is today. This Life on Fire promo that you have, Paradise, will get you the lowest price that you can ever join Paradise for. So if you do join today, you will be grandfathered into lifetime access. You will be guaranteed the lowest price possible that we will ever offer Paradise for from this day forward. And let's do a little price breakdown. We have 203 video tutorials, which I sell for $37 each, which combined is $7,000. $511. These private monthly webinars that we do with today's top podcasters are $1,000 a month. The private monthly Q&A sessions with me are $1,000 per month. And the massive community of support and guidance that you get within Paradise is absolutely priceless. I want to put a price on there. Believe me, I just can't. So that's $9,511 of individual value plus the pricelessness, all for $12.97. That's today, $12.97. But you can take $300 off today. This is the Nick Unsworth Life on Fire special with the promo code PARADISE. Only during this live webinar, my friends, this promo code goes away as soon as this live webinar is over, and we are coming to a conclusion very quickly. So for $900, and $97, you can join Podcasters Paradise. Everything that you've seen is yours. We are also offering, this is the first time we've offered this plan with the Life on Fire team. It's a 12 pay plan of $89 per month. I don't know if we're ever going to offer this again, but we're offering it now to you today. 
you can jump on a 12 pay plan of $89 per month, meaning that you'll pay over 12 months 1068, which is a little bit more than just paying that one time $997. So we do reward those one time action takers, but you can jump on the pay plan. And let's be very clear and very transparent, guys. We offer a 100% money back, satisfaction, no questions asked guarantee. You can jump into paradise right now. You can try it for the next 30 days. If it's not you for any number of reasons, you will get a full refund with a simple email with no questions asked. If you are even thinking that podcasting might be for you in 2014, it is an absolute no-brainer to jump into paradise today, see if it's for you, check out the tutorials. Check out the webinars that we've done, the resources. Jump in the Facebook group. See if they're your people. It is a great opportunity. So for $997 or 12 payments of $89, you can join Podcasters Paradise today with that 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. And guys, I have something pretty exciting. Nick and I were talking about this before. I was telling him, dude, are you sure you want to add these bonuses? And you know Nick. He is Mr. Over Deliver. There's nothing that this guy won't do for his avatars, for his listeners, for his followers, and that's you, Life on Fire Nation. So the first 10 buyers, and this is insanity, so I will just tell you, <laughs> I'm going to jump down to the third bullet right now. You are going to want to have your credit card ready because when I go to the next slide right here, there's going to be a link and the first 10 people that utilize this and join Paradise today are not only going to get Podcasters Paradise, but the first 10 buyers are going to get a ticket to Ignite, which is Nick's conference December 5th, 6th, and 7th. It is a $997 value. I have people contacting me all the time asking me if that's sold out, trying to buy it for $1,000. He's giving it away to the first 10 people. This is something really cool, too, that I had to warn him about. But listen, the first 10 people that join Podcasters Paradise on the next slide's link are going to get an intro and an outro audio bumper. That means Nick is going to be giving you an MP3 file that you can use in your intro, in your outro, whenever you want to. And you know what an audio bumper is. If you don't, I'll give you an example. I'll even try to use Nick Unsworth's Nick Unsworth's, uh, Nick Unsworth's voice. Hey, hey, guys, this is Nick Unsworth of Life on Fire, and you are listening to Entrepreneur on Fire. You must have a life on fire. Now, of course, you get to choose the words. You get to choose the copy, but believe me, this intro, outro, audio bumper that Nick's going to do for the first 10 buyers is going to be of incredible value because it's going to give your podcast instant credibility, instant social proof, authority that Nick Unsworth created a audio bumper for you. This is a $497 value. You are getting $1,500 worth of value above the $9,000 plus of value you're getting for packaging up Paradise. So let me repeat this, guys. The first 10 buyers that use the link on the next slide are going to get a ticket to Ignite, which is Nick's conference that he's dropped hundreds of thousands of dollars here in San Diego. I'm presenting at it. I'm going to be opening up Friday night. We're going to walk on Coles, Tony Robbins style. It's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and say it, the best event you've ever been to. We are going to make sure of that. And you're going to get that ticket for free. People are buying that ticket every single day. You're going to get an intro and outro audio bumper, $497. And this is, again, with you just joining Paradise, which is already 100x value. So I'm about to hit the next slide, guys. Have that credit card ready. Get your fingers on the trigger. It is going to be displayed on the next page here. Go. Lifeonfire.com slash paradise. Don't type wrong. That's all it's going to take. Make sure to enter the promo code paradise. Ryan and Nick are both standing by right now. They are there. They are going to be just letting me know who those first 10 people are as they come through. We will congratulate you. You'll get a personal email. You'll get a shout out. You will get some absolute love. So lifeonfire.com slash paradise. Don't forget to use the promo code paradise, all capital letters, for $300 off. The first 10 people 
are getting the Ignite tickets, the intro, outro, audio bumper, and so much more with Podcasters Paradise. So guys, take action. If you want your message to be out there, if you want your voice to be out there, if you want to make 2014 and beyond your year that you take control and that you become the author of your life, that you actually control your narrative, this is your chance, this is your opportunity, and don't forget, you have that 30-day money-back guarantee. It's there for you. 30-day money-back guarantee, if it's not for you, for any reason, no questions asked. This is a risk-free way for you to drop $89 on your credit card today. Join Paradise, and if it's for you, great. 12, 11 more payments of $89, and you will have 100x value. If it's not for you, fine, we totally understand. Shoot us an email, 100% money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So guys, when you do join, you're going to be taken to this page right here, which is going to give you a great success and to just wrap everything up in a bow, you just need to register for Paradise by entering your name and email. That's a final confirmation. That's checking the last block. It's a really easy step, so you'll see this page. And while you guys are still kind of trying to get through and enter your, your credit card information in and get that address in there, because I know it's tough. I've been there. Let me give you some testimonials from what Paradisers are saying. We have Katie that says, I am so incredibly humbled that Businesswomen Rock took home three awards of the Regional Talkie Awards. My entire podcast would not be possible without the love, education, and support of this group. Thank you all so much to everyone who has given me so many great ideas. Love this community. We have Jim that says, Support from Paradise has taken Inside Wine Making Podcast to the number one spot in food and, category, in food and, uh, in food category in New and Noteworthy. I couldn't thank all you guys enough for all the ratings and reviews you've provided. Such an awesome group. And Kathleen says, I have to say this is by far one of the best training programs I've invested in. The more I dig in, the more excited I get. By following John's model, I was able to hit number four in education and careers in a little over a week. The secret to all of this is to dig and implement and enjoy the results. Great job, John Lee Dumas and Kate Erickson. Woo hoo! So guys, the countdown has commenced. T minus 10 minutes to take advantage of the $300 off with promo code Paradise. Go to lifeonfire.com slash paradise. Those first 10 people are going to get a ticket to Ignite Nick's Life on Fire conference here in San Diego. $1,000 value. The intro, outro, audio bumper, $497 value. $1,500 in value plus Paradise all for one low, low, nine, nine, seven. So I'm going to actually take a second here. I'm going to turn the video on. I'm going to get a little personal. I'm going to let Nick get on here and say something, but before I let him say something, I'm going to jump on the video and just say a little what's up. So give me a second here. Let me click this on and just say, Guys, woo, I mean, look at me. I am working hard. It is like 85 degrees here in San Diego, which Nick can vouch for. It doesn't happen. I've been here pouring my heart and my soul on the table for you to share with you how to create, grow, and monetize your podcast, giving you the insights, inside tips, tools, and tactics, giving you podcast launch, my number one ranked book, giving you all of this for an incredible value for those that want to join Paradise. And I don't want you to be one of those that misses out and that looks back and says, you know what? I could have joined back when it was lifetime access, but now it's an annual membership due every single year. I could have joined when it was 997, but now it's twice that. I could have joined, you know, but I didn't. And I don't want you to be one of those people, especially when you have 30 days to check and see if this is for you. And if it's not for you, we totally get it. We have 1,300 people and more joining every single day who know it's for them. So we know it's an amazing product. We also know it's not for everybody. So if you want to be part of this community, give it a whirl. If it's not for you, 100% satisfaction guarantee. If it is for you, we couldn't be more excited to welcome you into the family, to join the over 1,300 podcast paradisers who are every day creating, growing, and monetizing their podcast. And let me bring on the one, the only Nick Unsworth to, uh, to say what's up. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, man? I just want to say just awesome job. I mean, 
you know, you you always lay it all out on the on the table, man, and go all in. And and that's what I love about John is that he's he's got a heart of gold. And for anyone that's invested in the, themselves and bought information products, I think you're going to quickly see and realize how much um, time and money and energy and just heart that John and Kate put into Podcasters Paradise. And it really is a work of art. And I love going to events and hanging out with other, you know, paradisers and, and seeing how well that they're doing. Because at the end of the day, if the content is amazing, which it is, but it's like how, you know, it, what matters is the results. And that's what I love about these guys is that people are getting results. I know that for me personally, we've taken the playbook and it's completely changed our brand. I love it. Out of all the things that I do with Life on Fire, our Life on Fire TV is one of the most exciting and fun things that I do. And I love, you know, almost on a daily basis getting um, texts and messages and emails and physical cards and people saying that they love the show and that they're inspired. And we're, and we've monetized it. We haven't even tried. We're, we're, we're only now starting to share our Ignite event on our podcast. We've made over $117,000 of annual revenue from people buying on our website and if you think about it I've been doing online marketing for five years and this is the first time I've ever had people just mosey on to our website and actually just buy so it's something that's just so uh, awesome and I love the community and I love how hard you know John and Kate work it, to just make it so that it just it's always impactful and you know they're just truly helping to create success stories one person at a time and so uh, I do want to just say that a big congratulations for the folks that have jumped on board because, you know, I, I understand, you know, sometimes whether it's money is tight or whether, you know, you've got that dream inside of you or the message that wants to come out or you really, you know, you think about it and say, man, if, if I could leave my job and just, you know, be on a microphone and, and podcast, how much fun that would be. And the thing is that when you step into that fear and you go for it and you just go and do it, amazing things start to break, break through. It's like when you are doing something for work that you don't truly love every single day, that to me is a shame. You know, life is way too short to work and to, and to spend your, and invest your, all of your life into a career that you don't love. And if you are an entrepreneur, if you already have a business, a podcast will help you take it to the next level from your brand and your revenues. If you're looking at this and you're saying, you know what, maybe you're, you just got home from work and you're tuning in here tonight and you've got something in your belly, you've got the fire in your belly and you're like, you know what, I would love to do this. You know, maybe that starts on the side. You know, maybe after a few months, you know, you're able to take it and you launch it, get up on the charts, build your audience, let your heart come through, share your message, start your movement, and then you too can, you know, monetize so that maybe you don't have to work at the job that you're not so crazy about. So it just what's awesome is that um, you know, this is a playbook and a strategy that has proven to work and that right now the timing has never been better. You know, so if we think back to John's slides about podcasts being in cars and, and and the new wave where podcasting is actually hitting its tipping point now. So it's been around for a long time, but it's hitting that critical mass now. And the way I look at it is I always want to get in front of the trends. So even though I didn't ever consume a podcast before meeting John, I as soon as I understood what they were, I saw the opportunity, I took fast action, I jumped right in within a couple, you know, months, it's like, boom, I was live. And the only thing, my only regret is that I should have started it faster. And so the whole thing is that the timing is here and you don't ever want to be in that situation where you look back and you think, I wish I did that. You know, you never want to have that moment where you look back and say, if I had only gotten the course, if I had only just had the guts to invest in myself, to believe in myself, if I had only done that, I, where would I be right now? You know, where would I be in, in one year and two years? So just want to encourage you guys that you know, I think you can tell, you know, what kind of guy John is and, you know, the character and integrity. And, you know, it's one of these courses I fully, obviously, 100% stand by. That's why we're doing this all together. John's speaking at our event, Ignite. And so I put so much just, um, you know, faith and recommendation on John. And I do want to say that the first 10 buyers, the reason we're doing the, um, the fast action is because after coaching hundreds of entrepreneurs and doing hundreds and hundreds of coaching calls, what I've found is that when you take fast action, that is one of the ingredients 
for massive success. And that's one of the ingredients for creating success stories. And that's what we live for. That's our energy. That's our what fills up our tanks. And so fast action, we want to reward that. So again, you know, the first 10 are going to get the tickets to Ignite and get the intro outro. That's one thing that when I started my podcast, I had an intro outro bumper from John and I put that on our episodes and that gave that social proof and the credibility. And people were correlating that oh, like he's hanging with John and this must be a cool show and it helped to grow. So definitely take advantage of those now while you're here right now with this live and just make that decision, jump on board, commit, roll up your sleeves and tap into the community and get your podcast to the top of the charts. So what I want to do is I want to congratulate. We've got some folks that have taken fast action. So big congrats to you guys. So I'm just going to be glancing over here at my computer, which is a little sluggish. Um, I use Outlook, so there's a little bit of a, a lag, but... We've got um, a big congrats for Kinsey. Kinsey out in Colorado. Congratulations, first person to jump on board. We have Timothy out in uh, out in Florida. Congratulations. We've got Susan out in um, MD, Maryland, I believe. MD never was much for uh, not much of a geography major here. Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. It is. Um, we've got Randy out in Los Angeles, and uh, congratulations, my man. Uh, we've got Christy in Florida as well. So Florida just representing right now. Awesome. Congrats, guys. And then we've got Phil, um, who is in uh, Prince Edward Island in Canada. So awesome. We are international with you guys. So I love it. Congrats to you, Phil, for jumping on board. And we have Nicholas. That's such a great name. In North Dakota, representing <laughs> jumping on board. And we have Kay, Kay out in La Jolla, California. And Kay, let me just tell you that for taking fast action, not only um, are you getting the intro outro bumper, and not only are you um, getting the ticket to Ignite, I would like to also, for anyone that is local to San Diego or could get here within a drive, we have a mastermind event that is literally this weekend. It's three days. And for any fast action takers, um, just email me personally, nick at lifeonfire.com. If you purchase and you want to email me directly, I will hook you up with a ridiculous, crazy deal uh, to come to our mastermind that's um, in person. we are build strategies for you on spot. We've got a luau, a fire dance with people that are breathing and throwing fire around. We have um, uh, also, we rented a yacht we're going to be hanging out on. So anyone that can get to San Diego this weekend, I will just be crazy and throw that in if you take action now. Um, all right, we've got Brian. Brian out in Florida as well. Florida is just on the map. <laughs> and we have John in New York. Awesome. Congrats, congrats. And guys, so keep rock and rolling and literally just make that decision. Jump on board and claim your spot in Podcaster's Paradise. You will not regret it. You'll be so happy with where your life can go and how things can change by making a fast decision. Make a fast decision and then commit to yourself and commit to the group and us and become a success story. You know, Take your podcast, get it ranked on the top of the charts, dive in with the playbook that John has proven to work time and time and time again and let's rock and roll. Roll up the sleeves. We'll be here with you every step of the way. So congrats, guys. Just like you guys heard from the man, we will be here with you every step of the way. I echo my sentiments for everybody that's joined the family today. Congrats to the first 10. And everybody else that joined afterwards, believe me, you're still getting your 100x value. We're excited to see you in paradise. And Nick, why don't you just say a quick uh, bon voyage? All right, quick bon voyage is um, just want to say, guys, um, you know, if it feels right, don't hesitate. Jump on board. Um, I think that uh, you can tell just by this event here tonight, I mean, how how much we're here to support and help you guys every step of the way. This is what we live for is creating success stories. And you don't ever want to have that moment where you're like, man, I should have done it. You know, we've taken money off the table with, you know, having a 12 pay option, you know, for 89 bucks to get rolling. I mean, it's just, it's, it's one of those. We wanted to make it like a no brainer type um, decision. And so hop on board with us. We'll have, help you every step of the way. In the event that, you know, if you weren't happy, you know, like John said, there's a money-back guarantee. We'll take care of that. 
Guys, if you have any questions, I also want to just throw out there that um, you can email support at lifeonfire.com. We will take care of any questions that you may have. We will totally help you guys out. So if we didn't answer a question here tonight, email support at lifeonfire.com. We will hook you guys up, take care of you guys. And as far as voyage, I just say that you know at the end of the day, um, we work, spend most of our lives working. And you know why not? love what you do for work every single day and if podcasting starts part-time maybe it moves full-time this is a heck of a way to live your life it's so much fun and if you've got that message inside you you've got that movement you want to start you've got something that you felt on your heart a calling to do in life let a microphone be your instrument you know let iTunes be your audience and get that message out to the world because you know it's it's easier than you think and when you step into that fear you know you can make it happen faster than you realize when you're part of paradise so you guys have an awesome rest of your night